Alright, Gauntlet is tonight and I'm sure everybody's excited. Oh, it's gonna be hot! But you know what? Better late than never to release these kind of videos. So, let's go! First, okay, we're gonna talk about map mods now. And I've actually put out a few like map mods that you should not run and some that are like okay -ish, you know acceptable you can run if you want but for me I'm not gonna run them because this like gives the monster an extra advantage on me you know which gives them like a higher percentage of ripping my character so no way no way for me but it's it's up to you if you want to run this and of course we have the safe to run options the ones where do not give monsters like it only gives monsters a slight advantage and for the slight advantage it's I, f I feel that it's yeah it's it's safe you know it's just safe in general it's just safe so yeah let's start off with the first one first one do not run is you know there are like these mods called area is inhib inhibit inhabited by like multiple stuff so the stuff that I won't run is goatman Humanoids and Solaris Fanatics. I I'm not sure why, but Solaris Fanatics they they actually hurt. In the previous gauntlets, I I have a few close calls for because of the Solaris Fanatics. I'm not sure what what you call what are those monsters called those that shoots out beams of light. You know, not not the ribbons, not the ribbons, but the 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 ones that you play last time. You summon as specters. They're really strong specters. But yeah, those those are a problem. Then humanoids, yeah, humanoids. We're obviously talking about those, the cannibals. You know, if they, right, they do, they throw two additional projectiles and then they shotgun. So, if you were to get hit by a bunch of them, that's it. Your character's gone. Goatmans, I don't have to say, uh, my character ripped to goatmans a lot of times. You know, in the gauntlet, I would say, yeah, half of my character died to goatmans in the gauntlet. So. Definitely a definitely a big no no for me. Like you just dash into a pack of goatmans and and those that have val no not val molten shell those that have molten shell boom you're dead. And then next is fire additional projectile. Like what? The monsters are already firing additional projectile because of the gauntlet mods, and you want to give them more projectile? No. So next. Monsters have physical damage reduction. Oh, I mean monsters, not monster. Ah, but whatever. So, this only applies to physical build. If you're a non-physical build, uh, by all means, just run it. You know, it'll be safe for you. But if you're playing a physical build, don't run it. Because it's gonna be, like, bad. It's gonna be bad for you. Next is increased monster damage. This is increased monster damage in general. It's, it's just bad, you know. It's just bad. Don't run it. Then monsters reflect physical damage. So monsters reflect physical damage. This is only for physical build as well. I'm not talking about trappers and everything else because uh, where's it? Where's the reflect? Yeah. So if you're non-physical build, uh, definitely safe to run. And then if you're a build that do damage like indirectly, like trappers, totems, you're fine. You're fine as well. You're fine to run this. Next is monsters reflect elemental damage. This is for elemental builds only. So when I say elemental builds, probably like maybe full conversion, like maybe if you play tornado shot, yeah, full, full conversion. Ellie damage, Ellie hit, or what call that fireball? I'm not sure who's gonna play that. Uh, what else? Armageddon brand, yeah. That that is also dam that that will also damage yourself. But if you're not playing uh. If you're playing a non-elemental build or builds that do damage like indirectly, like for example, we call it explosive arrow, totems, totems, the totem explosive arrow, then you're fine, that is fine. But if you are the one shooting out the explosive arrow, you're gonna you're gonna die to reflect. And if you're playing trapper as well, like for example ice trap, yeah, you're fine as well. You're, you're fine to you're fine to run mods like this reflect elemental damage so next okay next mod unique boss has increased life and aoe mm, yeah gauntlet mods already give monsters like more life and I give them more aoe like no way i'm gonna give them even more aoe and even more life like you know if the scaling to unique bosses 
it's insane you don't want to scale them even more you know next is monster chaos and elemental resist so this is only for elemental builds and chaos builds so for example chaos builds right here right for this one i will not run it for like for example necro dd yeah no way because they have elemental resist then for chaos resist if you're playing something like contagion ed i'm not sure who's gonna who's still playing that but yeah if you're playing builds like that then definitely don't run this but every other build no problem if you're playing bone zone yes that is good then you can run this mod more rod more mod for you that you can run but then again if you're playing a physical build there are mods that you can't run so i mean that's there are certain mods that elemental builds can run certain mods that elemental builds can run certain mods physical builds can run certain mods physical build, physical build cannot run so i mean at, at the end of the day is both builds has the same like amount of mods that they can and cannot run then next is monster have a chance to avoid poison impale bleeding yes this is for especially like poison build poison build i'm talking about maybe you're playing poison bv i don't know why but this is mainly referring to exsanguinate and seismic trap poison variant so this one definitely you can't run if you're playing that build and then impale probably i'm talking about um, spectral helix impale yeah no way you can run this if you play if you're if you're playing impale and then bleed build i don't know maybe bleed bow who still plays bleed bow but yeah if you're playing bleed bow then don't run this but everything else yeah you're fine you know necro dd yeah you're fine next monsters have percentage chance to suppress spell mm, yeah this is bad this is bad for spell casters for example if if i'm playing exsanguinate seismic right yeah this this is also bad for me no way but if if you're a bone zone character whew, you can run this no problem next is max life as extra max es oh my god this this mod is this mod is bad it's just bad in general okay but if you're playing chaos build no problem you can run this so for poison build yes just run this because you're, you're doing damage to their health directly you can your damage will ignore their yes so no problem next unique bosses are possessed yes very scary especially in the gauntlet like i think i did f i forgot what map was that cemetery or what no not cemetery the ones with the three skeletons yeah unique bosses are possessed i almost ripped to them even with my hoak jack you know hero agony jack i focus all i focus like my tree my gears everything is focused on defense and i almost got one shot he he put me down to like one hp and yeah that's that's dangerous next is monsters have increased aoe like they already shooting additional projectiles and they already have additional aoe if you want to give them more aoe for a bigger chance to shotgun you then no way no don't just don't take this next is crit crit chance and crit strike multiplier so yeah monsters do crit for a very large amount so if you want to increase that chance of them like critting you no don't do it <laughs> I, I won't even give them the additional chance no no if, if even if it's a tiny chance no still a big no no next player have less recovery of life mm, yeah this one if like monsters leave ground degen on the floor and you have less recovery life and like for example you walk into the like any burning ground or whatever and suddenly you see your HP going down really fast because of this. Yeah, so yeah, just just no, just no. This this right here will cause panic and also cannot regenerate life. This this is the worst. Don't life mana and yes mana. You know, mana is important. Next is area has patches of burning, chill, shock, desecrated, and consecrated ground. I won't run all of them, but you know, there is one exception. You know, if you're immune to chill immune to like shock or if your chaos rest is max or if you have like frost bomb in your setup then yeah you can run all this easy you can run chill 
shock, desecrated, and consecrated ground. But for burning ground, for burning ground, I would just point out, even if you are immune to ignite, you still you are still affected by burning ground. So burning ground is a definitely big no no for me. Unless you have ninety percent max fire rest, I don't know how you're gonna achieve that. But yeah, unless you have that, then you can run burning, burning ground. But if you're aiming just for level ninety, I don't think you'll have that like luxury. So just avoid burning at all costs. Next, players are cursed with alley weakness, vulnerability, time chains. Time chains makes you move slower, so you won't have time to react to like the monster's projectile which is bad vulnerability mm, monsters have chance to no monsters will do more damage to you physical damage which has the potential to rip your character and also bleeding if you're not aware of the bleed and you continue like running through the map bam gone alley weakness alley weakness is you know in the gauntlet i usually put my elemental resistance at around 80 to 90 yeah not not 120 if you have like 120 130 at elemental resistance then you can you can run alley weakness but in the gauntlet it's better to look for gears with like spell suppression and sacrifice some resistances then but the downside is you won't be able to run alley weakness maps like this so yeah just avoid all these three in general but hold on let's see there's still one more enfeeble where is enfeeble i have enfeeble somewhere around here yeah just for players are cursed with enfeeble you can run them yeah this one you can run because you're just doing less damage that's all and then minus max player resistance no way this is what will this yeah this this right here is just a killer in general next is monsters have percentage chance to avoid elemental ailments yeah so elemental ailments are talking about ignite chill freeze shock uh, what else sap brittle and scorch yes scorch so builds like dd necro no you can't run because dd necro i scale off ignite or maybe we're talking about mm, explosive arrow yeah that one we also scale off ignite everything else is fine even poison builds like my seismic trap and accent grenade poison variant yeah that that can be run but poison variant you cannot run this so yeah there's there is one for elemental ailments and another one for poison these two are different just yeah just yeah yeah, yeah you guys get it next is players gain reduced flash charges flash is what determines your character stays alive or not you know so yeah i want i want my flask to be up 100 percent of the time if i gain reduced flash charges maybe that one second might read my character so no 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 that one second of no flash charges no i mean no flash no flash buffs no flash buffs up will read my character so no way and then next players have less armor and reduced chance to block i i don't think i care about the reduced chance to block but i care more of the less armor like armor is really important in the gauntlet you 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 will want to hit either 90 percent armor or 90 percent evasion either one of these but you you will want to have at least 50 percent or more of the other you know for example if you have 90 percent evasion it's best to have like maybe 40 50 percent of armor then yeah vice versa the other way around if you have like 90 percent armor it's best to have like maybe 40 percent evasion yeah you know uh, what this is what we call like stacking layer of defense so that if they manage to hit you then there's a layer of armor they're blocking or or yeah you know you, you get what i mean then next is monsters have increase accuracy this this mod right here pairs with spell suppression so in the gauntlet yeah you want to have at least some form of spell suppression because yeah this will ensure that your character stays alive or not and reducing the amount of spell suppress damage no way 
I want maximum I want maximum effectiveness from spell suppress so definitely don't run this no 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 and then gain power charge on hit yes I'm not sure why but power charge on monsters are just insane so don't run this then buffs on player expire 50% faster this one affects flash charges no I mean not flash charges affects flash duration so I want my, du my flash duration to be up all the time thus I'm not gonna run this next is reduce effect of non cost aura I'm assuming everybody's gonna run determination so if you reduce the effect of that equals to less armor less armor equals to less physical damage mitigation equals to character ripping and lastly is players have less accuracy this one's only for builds that do not have resolute technique or 100% hit builds that like hit the enemy you know like bow builds bow builds when I'm talking about bow builds tornado shot then bone zone you know bone shatter yeah so if you don't have like resolute technique then definitely don't take this because if you're playing a melee build and then you dive into the enemy and you have less accuracy you, you did not notice that and you didn't kill the monsters in time and some of the monsters just managed to pop you and that's it your character's gone so no just don't run this if you're playing characters like that so next let's go to the acceptable level acceptable level is for me for me i will not run these two you know F monsters deal additional like extra physical as fire coal or lightning they are big no no big no no for me but if you want to if you're feeling confident you can run this and monsters have increased movement speed attack speed and cast speed i mean the gauntlet mods already give them additional move attack cast speed why n why not just give them a little bit more but for me i will not even give i will not even give them that slight advantage no no advantage for the monsters at all so that i can hit level 90 safely next last one is the mods that are safe to run so what are the mods that are safe to run oh this is very easy you know area contains many totems yeah that's fine you know but just be on the lookout for the crit crit totem yeah it's very obvious you know you see them run just run and then increase number of rare monsters yeah this is fine as well ever since ever since they nerfed the rare monsters yeah this is fine now and then inhibited by rogue exhaust this is also fine just run it there are not many like they're not actually there are no i don't think there's any dangerous rogue exiles except for the chaos one the one that uses dark pack yeah that one's that one's kind of scary if you have low chaos resistance everything else is fine then area area is inhibited by other than this other than this tree i'll run next two unique bosses i mean if you don't buff the unique bosses like this then that's fine you know you, you don't possess them you don't buff them with increased life you don't buff them with wait where is it there should be still one more mod like unique bosses has has increased damage and attack speed yeah that one definitely don't run as well i'm not sure why is it not in here but you guys get it anything that pumps the unique boss don't don't run that mod simple even though you don't see it in here <laughs> just don't run that mod so two but if it's just two unique bosses with no buffs that's fine that's fine and then next is more monster life monster cannot be stunned this is fine as well but if you're playing bone zone good luck because you cannot stun monsters if you can't stun monsters you can't i mean that's the whole point of build bone shatter you have to stun and then next is monster physical damage reduction this is fine as well if i'm playing a non-physical build you know more monster life i mean just give them a little bit more that's fine reflect yeah i mean if you're non non-physical build that's fine non-elemental build you can run alley reflect map then less curse effect i won't even have the time to curse monsters you know let alone get gears that have like mm, curse people with despair 
with increase with like what 48 percent increase effect no way I, I i won't have the luxury to obtain those kind of items in the gauntlet so no i'm just aiming for 90 standard gears but of course spell suppression yeah next is monsters have chance to cause elemental elements or hit the chance is really low i mean the elemental elements is basically those few like shock chill freeze as long as you have some form of what do you call that elemental elemental ailment avoidance then you're fine yeah but in general this this sounds fine you should have like freeze immune flask or whatever flask you know ignite ignite immune flask then you should be fine yeah especially if i'm i'm gonna play a sab saboteur so saboteur you're already immune to shock you're already immune to ignite so i'm not afraid of this really i just need to get a remove freeze and chill flask and i'm good you know next is monsters cannot be torn and action speed cannot be modified below value uh, i don't care i don't care about this. this this doesn't matter if you don't like super chill them this this is not a problem then monsters damage always ignite for the build that i'm playing i'm immune to ignite i don't care and ignite yeah, ignite can be scary if you get hit. If you get hit by a big hit, yes, that will be scary. But I think in general, every everyone should be able to run this mod, no problem. Next is yeah, monster chaos and alley resist. This for non alley builds and also non poison, non chaos builds. In my case, I I will not be able to run this, but for for most cases you can run this you're playing like just pure physical then poison yeah this i'm playing i'm playing a poison build so no way i i will not run this so this one should should go there but for every other build it's okay you know if you're like igniting them that's okay you chill shock whatever that's that's fine you can run this then monsters have chance to impale mm, i'm stacking defense so i'm not really afraid of this this is really not this this one compared to this is nothing this one right here it's huge the percentage is it's kind of big you know it's I, I would say it, I think it's around 90 percent yeah that that is big this right here is just impale you know I think it's like 60 percent chance to impale so I mean if you're stacking defense this is no problem then monsters have chance to suppress spell damage this one, if you're playing an on-hit build, no problem. But if you're playing Spellcaster, then you're gonna move this here. Yeah, you you won't be able to run this. So for my case, I'm playing a Trapper. Trapper, Exsanguinate, Seismic Trap. Those are spell damage. And if they have a chance to suppress that, no way. I will not give them a chance. Next is... Uh, extra... Extra ES... No, extra life as yes. I mean, oh my god, what am I saying? Monsters gain max life as extra ES. Yes, that is the right statement. So this for... Since I'm a poison build, I don't care. My damage goes through ES. You know, I deal damage directly to their health. And ignores ES, so... I'm good. Then increase magic monster, this is fine as well. Poison on hit. Poison on hit. So far, I don't find this threatening at all so definitely run this players cannot inflict, inflict exposure mm, i don't really care you know even if you're like necro dd you can still you can still kill bosses without exposure you know just put just put your desecrate and then activate val dd and then you just watch the boss die without inflicting exposure to them no problem and then this one area has patches of chill whatever okay so shock shock i can run because i'm immune to shock but if you're not immune to shock, don't run. Monsters are dealing as extra damage to you just because you're standing on the shock ground. No way. Desecrated ground, you don't want to be degening. You don't want to be degening like while trying to map. No way. Consecrated ground, uh, for me, I, I always have like frost bomb. I, I, can, I always have like frost bomb to swap in, swap out so that uh, when I fight against bosses, just put frost bomb and then yeah, they can't regen. And then just easy kill. Then chill. 
she was basically nah no way no way it slows you down makes me unable to react to situations so no way and next is Enfeeble Enfeeble I don't it's not big of a deal can run this it's just like reduce you just do reduce damage that's all no problem monster have chance to avoid element elements this is no problem as well but if you play necro dd or explosive arrow uh look out for this don't run this next is extra damage on crit strikes nah this is not a problem as well just just a small amount you know less than 50 percent you know it's only small next is player have less aoe i know this might be a problem with a lot of people but less aoe for that for that amount of like what you call that quantity and rarity and monster pack size i mean this this okay it's worth it then frenzy and endurance charge this one is acceptable okay can run then blind maim hinder on hit this is also okay i can run steel power charges i generally don't run any power frenzy charges but if you have like minimum endurance charge yeah monsters can't steal that don't worry you can run this Next is player have percentage less, less cooldown recovery rate. This one affects your traveling skills. So you have skills like maybe frost bling, flame dash. Yeah, they will they'll have a longer cooldown. But then if you have something like whirring blades or shoot shoot charge, then no problem. You can just shoot charge your way around. Then players have less accuracy rating. This one we don't we already explained this. It's for builds that do not have resolute technique, then yeah. You can't run this. If you have right resolute technique or you're playing a spellcaster, this this right here is a freebie for you. Okay, for so for another thing for cooldown recovery rate is yeah, if you run if you I don't know, if you're somehow running COC build in the gauntlet then I mean Yeah, then I have to salute you man. I have to salute you for running a COC build. Alright that is all for the mods you know what i'm gonna do now yeah you guys can just take a screenshot like this and I'm, I'm not sure how you're gonna see this but uh, okay let's let's do another huge zoom in so they can take a better screenshot okay yeah this is good so we have until here and we scroll down some more and there it is yeah you know just pause the video and take a screenshot that's all i don't i have no idea how to share this you know i don't want to paste a download link there down below so just just take a screenshot of this all right Alright, so good luck in the gauntlet tonight. Yeah, gauntlet starting soon. And you know what? I'm actually excited to die at level 89 again. Woo!